Pili Key. WREL has been able to confirm through a couple of sources that the suspect is in custody. Going on the air right now, coming up on 315 with the confirmation, the suspect is in custody. UNC Chapel Hill has not confirmed that information independently, directly, but several different sources have confirmed that the suspect was taken into custody. On the phone right now is a uh, sophomore. Her name is Mary. Mary, you're in your dorm right now. Tell me what it's been like for you this afternoon. How are you doing right now? Um, so, yeah, I'm currently in my dorm, but about two hours ago, we heard this big alarm and then someone over the intercom saying that um, there's an armed suspect, like, go inside immediately. And then we got an email from the Alert Carolina system um, telling us to stay inside. And we that's it. All of us have been tuning into the police scanner and just staying inside. How did you guys figure out the police scanner? Is that something you had to download an app for? or uh, did someone... Yeah, that's something we had to download an app for, and people were just sharing it in group chats and stuff. And there have been like 16,000 people listening to the Chapel Hill EMS scanner. So uh, have you been tied into um, some information from the, the school in terms of like Twitter or anything from, for information, or is that not giving you guys the information you need? We just got actually right now an email from, we've been getting emails from Alert Carolina staying to like updates, stay sheltered. And then there have been um, people talking on Twitter and then people have been using Yik Yak to communicate too. So uh, what, what's, the, what's the, uh, the mood like right now? Obviously there's a lot of concern. We're seeing live pictures of some students moving around, some very emotional. What's, what are your friends, how, how are your friends doing right now? Um, we're all checking up on each other just to see if everybody's okay um, and then, you know, telling everybody to just stay inside and um, just being very supportive at most. Mary, thank you so much for uh, talking with me on the phone. We appreciate you. Stay safe this afternoon, okay? Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you. Now, as we went on the air with that confirmation, I was texting with one of my sources, and she gave me, you know, the question emoji as if, where are you getting the information confirmed from that suspect? Alert Carolina just posted this two minutes ago. They're saying stay sheltered in place until the all clear is given, all classes and events canceled for the rest of the day. Alert Carolina, again, has not confirmed the suspect in custody. They continue to push this here, saying stay sheltered in place across the campus. School districts in the area also not releasing students right now. This continues to be the scene at UNC Chapel Hill. The students going back to campus, going back to school one week ago. Uh, the suspect in this case, uh, Ty Lee Key, let me show you that photo again of the suspect right here to the right of me. It's believed he is a grad student in, in Chapel Hill. And the questions about where he got this idea or any manifesto. None of that stuff is out right now. There are so many questions. A lot of people have been asking how many people are hurt in this case. That's another key piece of information I want to get out here about the injuries in this case. We have not confirmed that. This is important, though, and this is from the spokesperson at the, in the hospital system, Alan Wolf, saying, quote, we have not received any patients from this active shooter situation. That's the main campus there, the UNC hospital there uh, out in Chapel Hill. No injuries to the hospital at this point. We'll see how this unfolds later this afternoon. Guys, we'll send things back to you. That's encouraging. Uh, if somebody could be, if, if it's, uh, we have a suspect in custody, if there are no injuries at the hospital, those are bits of information that, yeah. uh, again, we don't have the full picture, but I'll take those. Yes, we've been waiting for any little bit of information. And as we're doing that, we're also watching these incredible pictures here on South Road. Let's go back out to Matt Tallhelm. Matt, you are starting to see some of those students so shaken who are walking right by you. Yeah, they have, and I'm actually joined right now by one of those students. Um, Jocelyn is your first name here. You were in one of the buildings in here. Tell us what happened, what you heard, how this all played out. Uh, yeah, I was at the uh, economics recruiting fair in Wilson Library, and um, the person organizing it tells us after five minutes of it starting, hey guys, um, we just received alert, alert that there's an active shooter. Um, so we're going to keep you guys in here for a second and then um, I'm just checking my phone and then yeah, there's an active shooter in the building right next to me. So 
that is so scary. I mean, you get this on this alert and you realize then what's going on. You see all these police outside. How did they get you out of there to make sure you guys were safe and, and able to come out here? Um, they just had a single file out of the building. Um, there was plenty of police presence available. Did they keep you up to date? Were you, do you feel the university kept you informed of what was going on or how were you learning what was happening? Um, I was just talking to other students about and keeping up with various news sources. I think right now is a really stressful time for the university, so they were doing their best to respond properly. Um, but this is one of those events that you just can't plan for. Did you see anyone injured or anything as you were uh, being let out of the buildings? Thank God, no. No. Just what is this like? I mean, you're a week into class and you have to shelter in place. You're going to an economics fair. This is supposed to be a good time, beginning of the year. What is this like to have something like this happen right here on your campus? I think it's sobering. It's a, it's a really strong reminder that, um, that there are certain issues that, um, you know, we, we, we might think it won't happen to us, but they can and they will. Um, it's just putting in perspective how grateful I have to be for the days that, you know, I get to enjoy Chapel Hill for its beautiful skies and game days and not for the tragedy that happened today. Jocelyn, we're so glad you are safe and able to get out of here. Your family, I hope is, they know you're okay. Yep, I've been in good contact with them. Good. Jocelyn, thank you so much for stopping and talking with us. And as, as we have seen here, uh, you can see more students continue to come out of, the, of these buildings here as the police lead them out of here uh, to safety. Uh, we have not seen that helicopter either circling around in a while. So uh, the students, did they give you any direction real quick, Jocelyn, just about what to do or where to go after this? Um, I live across campus, and I don't really know where to go right now because they are not letting me to my dorm, so I don't really know where to go. That's why I'm just kind of here. Yeah, well, we hope that they give some directions here because there are a lot of students. Thank you so much, Jocelyn, for talking with us. There's a lot of students that are walking down, uh, you know, that way towards Franklin Street would be just down there.